We brought you this headline yesterday. Newt Gingrich says California may elect a Republican governor. Incredible as that sounds. Joining us now is California congressional candidate Sean Flynn. Sir, I'm sorry we had to cut you off yesterday. Just as you were getting rolling, uh, the president's uh, tape came in from the cabinet meeting, and we just had to go to that. So welcome back, sir. Good to have you with us. Oh, thank you so much, Stuart. If I'm going to get bumped by anyone, the president <laughs> makes me feel good. Now, there you go. So, good stuff, sir. Now, uh, Newt Gingrich did say it's possible that California would get a, a win, a Republican win, on a statewide election. Now, most of the people on this program have completely discounted that and said it's out of the question. But what say you? Well, you know, we have this top two primary system here in California, and I'm, I'm, I really believe 100% in my heart if we can get a Republican into the top two, we're going to win in November because, you know, the Democratic candidate is almost certainly going to be Gavin Newsom, the former mayor of San Francisco, who epitomizes everything that's wrong with this state because the city he used to run, San Francisco, if you visit there now, there are people openly shooting up drugs. There's a massive homelessness crisis. People can't afford, you know, on a middle income to uh, buy a house there. There's people defecating in the street. And then statewide here, um, what the Democrat Party's up after, you know, 40 years of ruling this place, we've got the highest poverty rate in the country. We've got the 47th worst schools. We've got the highest welfare caseload. You can go on and on. Jobs and businesses are leaving the state. Worst business environment. Uh, rated by CEOs in the country. And so if we can get a Republican into that uh, top two system there, I'm almost certainly they will certainly they'll win in November. Now, you are running against an incumbent Democrat, I think. What's your primary line of attack? Well, laying out the fact that, you know, he's, you know, his voting record is completely inconsistent with the values of the people in our district. You know, our district is a district where we are hurting. We've got uh, unemployment that's twice the national average. We've got uh, school systems that are performing very, very poorly. Um, and uh, this is someone who hasn't done anything to create jobs, help the local schools, uh, create infrastructure, um, who's, well, you know, what, basic what, what function is, is to... What, I take it that his position, your opponent, the Democrat, his position is that California is and should remain a sanctuary state. How does that go down in your constituency? With my constituency, very poorly, because in my constituency, people understand um, that it's actually a public safety issue, not an immigration issue, because the only thing that law did was make it so that our local sheriff and our local police chiefs cannot contact Homeland Security when they're releasing uh, either a convicted criminal or someone's been arrested for a serious crime and tell them, hey, this guy's getting out at 2 p.m. tomorrow from our prison. Would you like to come pick them up? And that, that's all that law did. Um, and so basically it now makes it a criminal act for any of our local law enforcement to call Homeland Security and tell them, hey, there's a criminal here. Would you like to deport them? Good Lord. You wrote the book Economics for Dummies. Is that correct, sir? <laughs> you did? Yes, sir. Okay. What are you doing into getting into politics? <laughs> well, for one thing, I figure sales will be very good in Washington for that book. I think there'll be a high need and a high demand for it. But, you know, there's two big issues that, um, you know, are goofed up at the federal level and like to fix. One is the student loan debt crisis. I have many former students who are hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Um, in many cases, parents, grandparents have signed the loans. Um, it's a multi-generational problem. And uh, they can't start businesses, they can't start families, they can't buy a house. And so it's killing an entire generation. I call them debt slaves. And the other thing that is massively goofed up at the federal level that would be the largest, easiest public policy fix that would bring back millions of middle class jobs is um, switching to a much more market based health care system. And oh, so I've studied talking. those and know what's implementable nationwide. We should be spending about 75% yeah. system wide and delivering much better care. Sean Flynn. Thanks very much for joining us, sir. You got the full interview today. No cutting you off. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. We will see you okay, again thank soon. Thank you so much, Stuart. Thank yes, you. Sir.